is Dundurn. Dad, have you been to Dundurn before? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is a small town just outside of Saskatoon and I was curious, you know, of what's here. I've never stopped here and I thought we should grab lunch here instead of just in Saskatoon and it looks like there is this really famous place called Big Murs which is a really interesting tavern, so I thought that we would give this a go. the fish and chips thinking it came with just one piece or of fish. 
<laughs> and yeah, this is gonna be a lot Unless of leftovers. <laughs> and then dad, you got the veggie wrap, right? Yes. You got all healthy here. Yeah, all healthy. We're going to share. Yeah. And uh, what was the one questionable item that is on the veggie wrap, Dad? Shit flowers. <laughs> and what is that? Mushrooms. <laughs> That's a hilarious the waitress name. waitress said the boss doesn't like it. And it grows mushrooms grow in shit. That's awesome. <laughs> So for those of you who maybe are watching my videos for the first time, you may not know that my dad basically still is, but for most of his life was a farmer. And dad, uh, can you tell the people what these big buildings are usually used for? Well, they used to be used for grain elevators. The company buy them from the grain from the farmers, and then they ship them out on rail cars on the railway to the west coast to the grain terminals to ship to other countries. But now, as we've seen in a lot of like smaller towns, a lot of these grain elevators are actually like not in use anymore, right? Yeah. And so what do they use them for now? Well, certain local farmers bought them and used them for their own use. Like storage of their grain? Yeah, storage yeah. of their own grain. Yeah.
showed me your affection But I was looking for perfection So I moved on and on and on to someone new As if no one knew what I was going through I know you think I'm just pretending And that I can't rewrite the ending But to move on and on and on to someone new So take a guess at the population of Caneston now that you've walked the main <laughs> street of the town. I don't know, 300? You're right on the dot, yep. Okay. The last census, I guess, that I could find online was like 2016 and it said 265. So now it's probably maybe 300. But what do you think is gonna happen? Like, what do you think in 50 years, 100 years? Like, what do you think? Are these towns still gonna be around or? Is it just going to get less and less people? Well, the way it's going, it's getting less and less. Yeah. Maybe the city people want to get out of the city and come back to smaller places. Who well, knows? that's true. And actually, my dad had mentioned this on the live stream that we were doing in Saskatoon, is you just sold your place in the country. And there was some people from Ontario who I guess are from Burlington. Or Kingston, near Kingston, I guess. It sure, is. sure. Close to area. Toronto. And they decided to come out here because they wanted some peace and quiet. Yes. <laughs> so see, some people are raring to come to small town Saskatchewan, so there is hope. Number one, we just got to the town Rilu, if I'm saying it correctly, and on the way here, I, I guess I should have checked this more thoroughly, but I didn't know that the actual set, the main thing that I came down here for, 
they took down in 2016. I saw so many articles that were saying this is still a tourist attraction, this is still, you know, a great place to check out, but to be honest, it does look like things are pretty quiet here. It's only a town of like 600 people or something and basically all the corner gas stuff is done. So that's disappointing, uh, but more important, the second bad news of why I can't actually really show you guys what there even is here is because I just got a severe thunderstorm slash tornado warning on my phone for this area that we're in. So even though it looks fine now outside, I think we should just head to Regina because we are still like a 40 minute drive away. So that kind of brings us to the end of today's small town adventures. But I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you ever road tripped Saskatchewan? What were some of your favorite places? Dad, thank you so much. Yeah, okay. <laughs> looking at the map. Yeah, Dad's looking at the like, you can go on the weather network and look at like the radar of where the storm is going. So he's just looking that up because yeah, even as we were coming here, he was like, those clouds don't look good. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, they're fine. Like, it's really sunny and nice out. Sure enough, there could very well be a tornado or hail. So we should get under, you know, coverage as soon as possible. So thank you guys once again. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And the next video you see will most likely be a Virginia. So stay tuned and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.